the lizard. So first you have them move their head one way, and then as they move their head that way, that arm straightens, that arm bends. So Dr. Jack is going to show us how he usually works on the patients. What should I do first? So if we're going to have him take his shoes and socks off, we're going to check his primitive reflexes. With him being a little bit older, most likely he doesn't have any, but um, we're just going to see kind of how his brain has developed. So why play. we need to take off the shoes and socks? First, with the standing exam, we uh, want as much proprioception coming into the feet as possible. So I'm going to have you put your hands up. Okay. So go ahead and close your eyes. Time to move your head back and forth. So go ahead and just work all the way down and relax. Just to let it hang. And then come back. So this is the tonic labyrinthine reflex. This is a vestibular reflex. It has to do a lot to do with balance. So we're looking to see if he begins to sway a lot or really lose his balance. Looks like he's doing pretty good. That's a Moreau reflex. No jumping, and now we're going to turn his head, drop your hands forward. forward. Yep, just, just keep it right side. This is the one way to check asymmetric tonic neck reflex, 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 reflex. <laughs> and he's staying fairly stable, but a little bit of a movement, so that could indicate potentially that he has that reflex. Um, next, I'm going to have you switch here to your hands and knees. Okay. All four on the table? Yep. Good. I'm going to slide your shirt up. This is the spinal gallant reflex. Looking for any abnormal twitching of the muscles or incurvation if his whole body is shifting. Um, this is a big reflex that happens or that's needed for the birthing process. Looks like no movement or anything like that. That one's good. So now we're going to check that, AC, that ATNR reflex again and we're looking for the opposite arm to bend and it looks like we do have a positive so it's it's asymmetric too as you can see the one side he's got more of a bend and this side there's almost a little bit but not anywhere near as strong a positive reflex would mean that it's still in play um, this can be an issue in some kids with handwriting problems um, some issues with uh, like catching balls or riding their bikes so next is symmetric tonic neck reflex. So we're going to come up and then all the way down. And just try and stay right there. I'm going to wiggle your head around. This is a big one to learn how to start crawling and walking. We're looking for any significant shifting in his hips or his front arms to bend. His hips are shifting a little bit, but nothing super crazy. Go ahead and lay on your back for me next. Okay. So there's an area of your frontal lobe called your supplementary motor area. So that suppresses those reflexes once you use them long enough. Okay. The reflexes, they have to be used a certain number of times and then they go away to help grow into those higher brain centers. So the 18R reflex, they all live in your brainstem, but they live in different areas of your brainstem. This is the Pavinsky reflex. And so with his quad, I can see a little bit of a fire in there. You can see that fatigued already. This is Palmer Grass reflex for twitching mainly on this thumb side and there's nothing there which is good and expected sometimes you can see people have a whole hand flick but it looks overall pretty good with that next we have a paintbrush side we're gonna just paint around your mouth a little bit this is the rooting reflex it helps babies learn how to breastfeed and suckle at a young age. And a lot of times can be the issue if kids aren't breastfeeding properly. That looks good. So can you unlock your hands? I'm gonna put this down. Uh -huh. There you go. So this simulates falling. Mm -hmm. And it is another way to check the Moreau reflex because the Moreau reflex or startle reflex has two parts of it. It has the sound part and it also has the true falling part. That's, those are all the main ones that I usually check. Mm -hmm. um, so all the reflexes, the way they can be checked, can also be the way you use them for therapy. A lot of times I'll just have parents go home and have your kids hands and knees, and then we're going to turn in the one direction, just like I did with you. There are some other exercises that I teach kids 
um, they can do it on their own a little bit more. Um, there's a, it's called the lizard. So first you have them move their head one way, and then as they move their head that way, that arm straightens, that arm bends. Nice. But yeah, laying flat like you're a lizard crawling on the ground. Okay. So if like a kid has maybe like a right brain weakness or some other issues, a lot of times right brain will go with less cerebellum. Mm -hmm. So it might be, say you had the palmar grasp, mm -hmm. I'll be doing this reflex while improving blood flow and then maybe having you doing different eye pursuit training. Mm -hmm. The more stimulus you can get pumped into the brain kind of at the same time. Mm -hmm. So the kids came to see you, are they still under their um, like physical therapist treatment or? Um, a lot of times they are working a lot with physical therapists mm -hmm. or occupational therapists. Yes. And a lot of the time when we get these reflexes out of the way, they make crazy leaps in therapy, especially if you have a good parent. If you have a good compliant parent who's doing work at home and willing to do that, then the, the leaps and bounds are awesome. That's amazing. Thank you so much again, Dr. Jake, to give us this opportunity to walk around your clinic and talk about your technique. And also let people see a little bit different way that chiropractic mm -hmm. can do, especially in East Asia, a lot of people thought chiropractor just cracking the bell and then make a lot of pop. However, from your experience, mm -hmm. we can know that's totally different. Yeah. And this is our video for this time. Uh, if you guys like it, please uh, subscribe our video and share our video and like our video. This is Dr. Jack and thank Thanks you for, for coming. Your Thank you so thank much. You.